the manner in which we choose unilaterally to kill from the skies within the borders of other states with whom we are not at war is wrong. U.S. Congressman Alan Grayson talking there about United States drone strikes on Pakistan. He's been moved by a new documentary film which tells the stories of innocent Pakistani citizens who said they were injured by U.S. drones. One family even tells of their grandmother being killed as she collected vegetables in a field. CCTV's Jessica Stone met with that woman's son and the filmmaker who told his story. 38-year-old Rafiq Arrahman was best known in his small village in the North Waziristan region of Pakistan for being a teacher to local children. Now his story is teaching a global audience the personal cost of America's drone attacks through this new documentary. Before I had heard about drones, and I had heard that they target people who do bad things. But on October 24, 2012, he lost his mother when he says an American drone dropped a missile above her, killing her and injuring nine children, including three of his own. My mother was a very important lady. She was the one who I believe brought all the blessings to our house. Ever since she died, our house has become upside down. On Tuesday, Rafiq and his children told five members of the U.S. Congress their story. They want an end to the U.S. drone program in Pakistan. It targets terror suspects using intelligence and behavior analysis, but by some accounts has also killed hundreds of innocent civilians. I was very scared, and all I could think of doing was just run. I kept running, but I heard, I felt something in my hand, and I looked to my hand, there was blood. I no longer love blue skies, in fact, I now prefer gray skies. The drones don't fly when the skies are gray. Filmmaker Robert Greenwald began working on the documentary Unmanned America's Drone Wars in 2011. He says despite repeated requests, he was never able to discover why the drone targeted Rafiq's mother. It was one woman working in the field, and a drone hit her. So it's very hard to make a case that the drone was trying to hit the building. In April 2012, U.S. President Barack Obama's then chief counterterrorism advisor, John Brennan, declared the nation's drone program legal. A year later, the U.S. released new drone guidelines requiring more evidence for targeting that could reduce the number of strikes based on behavioral analysis rather than a confirmed identity. So far this year, the New America Foundation has counted just 21 drone strikes in Pakistan, the lowest number under the Obama administration, which has made their use a signature tool in its counterterrorism strategy, favoring them over troops on the ground. For now, Unmanned America's Drone Wars is a free documentary for anyone to watch online, and Rachman and Greenwald hope it will spur action around the world, but especially from the U.S. government. There should be an investigation, there should be official hearings, there should be questions, the CIA should be answering, the White House should be answering. Rafiq's message won't end with the documentary's release. Over the next few months, it'll tour colleges around the United States. There'll also be a visit to the British Parliament. Jessica Stone, CCTV, New York.